Huskinny's Nick here. And Pew Pew. Uh, <laughs> what's this one? Sunny Boy Pew. Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are up to the second stage oh. of cooking a brisket with Hollywood. Um, Is it this so day yet? So the brisket at this point has been in the smoker after being trimmed and rubbed for quite a number of hours, getting That's some really delicious awesome, smoke on it. And we are now up to the stage that um, we call uh, spritzing and boating. Uh, so I'm going to flip the camera around because... It's easier. Oh, no. It's First really... of all, what are you drinking there? Um, for fam Make Famous, out of those icy poles and the great band from my era, just before your era, Marcus. I don't think it was just before. Is the, was it a long time before? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's the Sunny Boys. So I decided after this morning's um, whiskey and coffee that uh, we'd move on. So cheers. Cheers. Anyone's so we have a up, Sunny Boy margarita. If anyone is keeping up and keeping track, you need to also get your Sunny Boy on. And then next we're going to do the, what do you think, afternoon Pims? Maybe a Pims or nah, maybe just a straight Jamo. Daiquiri. All right. Actually, I was thinking we might, I might try and cook something um, from the book oh. while you duck out. Yeah, absolutely. All we'll right. see how it goes though. So, All right, so this stage we are bit. talking about boating. Super easy bit. So with the briskets, um, there's plenty of ways to cook them. I think traditionally it's just to leave them over hot coals forever and ever and ever. But ain't no one got time for that. So there's a couple of methods we talk about in the book. The first method is the get it done, quick and fast. And the other one is the low and slow. When I say quick and fast, we're not talking about um, roasting the briskets. We're just talking about using the Texas crunch. So for those of you playing at home, this is where you're going to get that foil out, place the brisket in that foil and wrap it all up and put the, you know, the stuff with it. For me, I'm going to create a boat. Um, it's going to look something like this tray. If you haven't got the wherewithal or patience to make what I call a boat. Or if you can't like find um, high foil. quality foil. Yeah, exactly. Good foil. Uh, this is what you can use. It's just one of these round yeah, uh, oval or, or even the sort of aluminium ones. trays. But the thing is, the reason I'm going to make a boat is I'm going to get something to the sh shape and size of my brisket to kind of keep um, the heat locked in. You have to speak up. Oh, sorry. Your hand might be over the mic. It's not. Oh, okay. Um, so what you're going to have to do is we want to put something around the brisket that's going to contain all the heat. And as the liquid dissipates, it doesn't leave the brisket side. So this boat is going to keep everything tied in nice and tight. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to that take... Now from the magic of... Camera? Television. Exactly, exactly. So that's like this one. Is, it, is, it, is that one? Oh my god! Gross. Oh my god! So, anyway. So I'm going to take um, a spritz bottle. <laughs> Not like that. And I'm going to uh, take a beef stock. Um, I've also got some stock here. This is my chicken stock. Uh, some chicken stock concentrate. Can you tell them about the chicken stock concentrate? Yep, this so is... chicken stock concentrate. If you're a skinny mixer, you know this stuff is absolute gold. Um, in Skinny Entertaining, for the first time ever, we have given you traditional cooking methods to make this. Perfect. So if you're out there and you don't have a Thermomix and you've been wondering how your Thermomix family and friends gets their food tasting so good, I would like to take a portion of the credit. All the credit? <laughs> with some of the, with, with the skinny mixer's stock concentrate. Uh, this stuff is so full of flavour. It is crazy. Now, you might be wondering, why are we using chicken? And I believe it's because of someone's mama. Yes. So, the lady who taught me how to cook, um, uh, she has a theory, and I'm pretty sure it's shared with a lot of people, that if you use beef stock with the beef that you're cooking, you have to make that stock from a similar beef or those beef bones. If you mix the two together, you confuse the flavour. But with chicken stock, it accentuates flavours. So, if you use chicken stock with your rabbit or with your beef, or with your lamb, you're actually going to get an accentuated flavour, and it's not going to taste like... Bark, bark, bark. So we've always used chicken stock in our briskets. Exactly. Um, and also, um, a, a friend of mine, um, Northside Barbecue in Texas, uh, he cooks... Oh, sorry, Tennessee. He cooks maybe about a tonne of brisket a week, and he uses chicken stock, so he knows what the hell he's talking about. All right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go out and check this brisket, see how crusty it's looking before I boat it. I'm going to go have a spritz. You want to come with me? Are we going to make the boat first, or...? No, we're going to go out and we're going to measure it. All right, so we I'm need to, to, to we need to put hats on because, guys, the weather has turned on us. It's turned absolute crap, didn't it? So, repping oh, Traeger here. Oh, I do not do rain skinny, so I don't know if you can tell that about me or not. I'm a bit of a princess when it comes she, to rain. She has a hat on. I've got a hat on. And it looks just 
saturated. All right, so that's looking beautiful. Can we um push this forward a bit so I can not be in the rain? Anyway, so <laughs> beautiful. So you can see here it's looking really pretty. There's a few little dry spots here that I'm interested in. So I'm just going to basically give them a little bit of a wet down. You can see there, oh, beautiful, a little bit of stock. You can use water as well. It's okay. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you've got to hand. In fact, I know a lot of guys will do things. They'll use Worcestershire apple cider sauce. Vinegar. They'll use apple cider vinegar a lot. So it looks pretty good to me. It's got a little bit of more moisture in there. Happy days, happy days. And now, just using my knife, I can see that she's one knife long. Oh, and she's one blade thick, so I know how to go and make my boat. Let's go make a boat. It's raining. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to make. Right. This is like... This Hat is, can come off. Now is, my hair is messy. I was going to say, this is like Noah's Ark stuff. I know, it's it's fully raining now. We weren't expecting that. Look at that, guys. This is what cooking a brisket is all about. It's supposed to be 25 degrees and sunny. Um, yeah, traditionally, yeah. people think the rain dance might bring on rain, but I reckon it's cooking a brisket. Because I, I don't know I've, if I've ever cooked a brisket without it pouring down, including competitions. You know, when I was a, a young guy and I used to do bad things, we used to say lighting a cigarette would always bring the bus. You know, you light that cigarette, the bus would pull up. Yeah. In this case, start a fire for a brisket, piss it down. Mate. All right, so... Don't, don't, smoke it, don't smoke it on the this, this foil that we've got here, guys, is from Costco. Yes. Um, but if you don't have a Costco, what you need to do is you need to go to one of your catering <laughs> supply companies yeah, so nice and buy catering. very high quality thick foil. Exactly. Um, this is not your, I think I've actually got some over there, but it's a little bit far away. Yes. This is not the, the foil that you get from um, your supermarket. It, is not. it has to be very thick. It has to be very thick, it does. And the reason why it's thick is because we don't want it to tear through. So we do two layers in the book, I think. We do. I, yeah, it's fine. So what we do is you don't want it to be too... Uh, so you don't want this to be ripped through, okay? The things that will tear through it, um, maybe a corner of the brisket, or if your uh, barbecue is not very clean, you've got some old kind of leftover cooking material or something like that, that'll tear holes in it. If that happens, don't panic, because there's a lot of liquid will get caught up in this. Not only do we have the stock concentrate that we're going to use, but you also have all of the liquid that leaches out of the brisket. If it does happen, again, grab a tray. We'll have another sheet of foil ready. So that's why we kind of have the third one. So I'll make this boat up. If later on I need it, and you're going to tear, don't panic. You know, just go and repair. Okay? Um, whatever you do, don't pour it all over your, sh your velour shoes. All right? Oh, yeah. Who did that? Uh, you told that story. I think we told that story before. All right. So all I'm doing here is I know the shape of my brisket is going to be about that long. I know it's going to be that blade length wide. So all I'm doing is folding up some sides to the height of my brisket. I'm going to give a little bit of a fold. This is where the inner origami comes into things. Uh, do you want to do some Zen origami music or not? Hang on. Some people are saying that the live has frozen. Is is everybody able to watch the, the video? Rain. I just want to make sure before we continue on. Oh, wait. Just wait a moment. Yes, ma'am. If everybody could please comment if they can see us and hear us. So they look at me? Yep, yeah, you look very handsome. Let, let's see, let's see, let's see. So people are saying my screen is black. Okay, why don't you change from your Wi-Fi to something else? Can someone please let me know? Switch Wi-Fi to other. All right, one second. I'm just going to quickly switch off my Wi-Fi just in case it's that. Perfect. Okay. All right, can you guys see me and we'll, hear me? We'll, we'll see Grant and hear Grant. All right, awesome. Oh, they can? How yeah. embarrassing. I was doing stupid moves. Okay, so let's start again with the, like, what did you just do? So okay. we've got two sheets of thick aluminium foil. I do indeed, and they're laying flat here. Now, if you remember, I took a bit of a rough measurement with my knife. It's just a little handy trick. So I know the brisket is going to be about yay long. I know it's going to be about one blade length thick. You can gauge it with your eye, or when you get out there, you can scrunch the um, boat around it. But all we're doing is that thing I call the inner origami. You can see here I just folded that sheet over. Just be a little bit careful with this sort of um, mouthful, it can cut you a little bit. And I folded up this side here. That's going to perform part of my boat. You imagine if I was a little kid and there was a little river running down, like there's going to be soon in our backyard, that um, this thing could float away and I could go all the way down to Pennywise. <laughs> Um, so I just want to say very quickly, because I know the video cut out when we went inside the house again. Yeah. Um, this foil has to be very thick, high quality foil. If you haven't got a Costco, you can grab thick foil from Bunnings or your local catering 
um, catering supply store. But you cannot use the foil from the supermarket. It's just not thick enough. And you run the risk of tearing it and all of your delicious jus that comes out of the brisket pouring out. Um, if you can't grab good quality foil, we mentioned before, you can actually use um, aluminium trays as well. Yeah. All right, but let's watch Grant make the boat now that now we've I'm recapped. Making, I'm making childish things with boats. So basically, it's just a little surround. I'm making my fake aluminium thing, and I'm going to make it almost in the shape of the brisket as I remember it. Okay. Um, Judy, Judy, only a very small amount of stock was sprayed on the brisket. Time. It was just to kind of moisten the, the dry spots. You don't want to saturate it at all. No. It's just to put a little bit of moisture back into that crust. And you don't need to do it if you're doing the quick cook. Um, actually, you don't even need to do it at all, do you, Grant? No. It's just one of those things that if you want to get the perfect brisket exactly. and it's looking a little bit dry... It's more for the low and slow cook, not yep. the quick and fast, because the quick and fast will have all the moisture locked in with the braising. Yep. And we've yeah. found also, if you're doing like a Wagyu brisket, for example, oh, that so it funny. won't... It wets itself. Yeah, it, <laughs> it won't need <laughs> um, spraying. Wagyu is a self-moisturising brisket. It is a self-moisturising brisket. it's moist. It's the only um, time you can get away with moist. Moist. It's really bad biscuits. So, Monica... You won't need to lay foil in the tray. If you're using a tray, you it's don't fine. have to use foil at all. Yes, it's you and just or. You just use the tray. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, just, it's and or. Look at that beautiful boat. Do you want to take the other piece of foil out from underneath when you finish it so they can see? I don't want to. It's the magic of television. Well, Hang that there. there. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's my brisket shape. I know who's about a knife long. So what I'll do is when I get out there, I'll squish that up a little bit on the side. I'm just going to come around here and show them what it looks like from okay. this angle as well. Okay. You can just see it's like a little boat, basically. Yeah, look. Imagine, imagine some people floating away with a brisket. <laughs> um, but I the idea... I should have the, uh, the uh, sunny boy, should I? No, but that's okay. Oh, I put my hat on my sunny boy. That's all right. <laughs> it's already got loose in here. All right, so this here is just that... Uh, Chicken stock, ready to go? Yeah, and that's only just to give it a little bit of a kick along. It's going to produce its own moisture by releasing a lot of the um, liquid that's already pent up in the brisket. So as that heat hits it, that liquid's going to go out into this. It'll mix with our stock so that later on when we rest it, that liquid can be absorbed and it'll be a nice flavour as well. Okay? So we need to quickly grab the cotton hot gloves and that, uh, which I'm, I forgot. I'm good. We're good. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll use, we'll use the chef fingers today. Okay. Let's do it. Let's hope we don't drop it. <laughs> All right, back into the disgusting now you can also use this one. Oh, yeah. You get, you're cheating. He's got a hat. I don't. Can you put my stand back, please? Oh, yeah. Go on that side of it. Go on that side of it. Go on that side Sorry. of it. Sorry. I'll go. I can't. Go. Step over. The... You are so crazy. I'm. <laughs> Oh. All the hard stuff, you just stand there and look pretty. I don't like rain in my hair. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the brisket sitting there, nice and pretty. We're good. Alright, so now what he's going to do is grab the brisket. And now the trick here, guys, is to work as fast as you can. Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to put it in here while I do it. So he's actually just going to. I'm going to pick it up because I'm strong like that. I can put that under if you want. No, no, no problem. That's what happens Please don't do this without gloves, guys. <laughs> Grant's doing this because he's used to it. I got iron fingers. I do not recommend this at all. I recommend you use you cotton use gloves. gloves. They're just under here. So there's yeah. some hot gloves there. Um, there's hot gloves there, but you can use cotton gloves covered with your latex gloves. Yeah. Um, or you can grab heat-proof gloves from barbecues galore. This one's not too hot, to be honest. Yeah, but it, you know. Of course, no one should touch hot things Please in the oven. don't touch hot things in ovens without gloves. Okay. And now we're pouring our stock around the see brisket. The up. Did you guys see how he kind of pushed the foil up to the Let edge of the brisket? So it's basically trapping all that moisture alongside it. We don't want that to draw out, okay? Perfect. That's my cup of liquid. You can see it sitting in here, nice and close to the side. And that brisket's all nice and happy. I can develop a really good bark but the sides of the foil are all wrapped up nice and tight, so the liquid's not gonna to go too far away from the brisket. Make sense? Hope that makes sense to the people? Yep, and then okay. we chuck the probe back in. Yep. Oh. You saw that? Okay, what do you see? Yep, I didn't see it. 
There he is. I'm going to put it straight back in around about the same spot. Taking care not to poke through. Yeah, you don't want to poke through your foil. That's a good idea. And she's done. And she's done. We'll be back in, what, six hours? Uh, <laughs> we'll be back in the amount of time that it takes for the brisket to cook. One of the secrets um, to my hair is actually brisket grease. <laughs> Um, one of the secrets to my hair is actually not getting stuck in the rain like we are right now. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll be back in roughly six to seven hours, I think. The dinner time. No, rest um, Oh, yeah. So we'll be back roughly how Four or five hours. Four, five hours uh, yeah. To show you guys how to rest it. Yeah. And then we'll be back after that to show you guys how to, how to carve it. How and do you everything. eat it, you reckon? Yeah. Oh, um, so... Let's head inside because I'm getting like super. Okay, Can you run forward and open the door for me? Because oh, I want to no. talk about skinny entertaining quickly. <laughs> and my phone's getting like massively rained on. Yep. Um, okay, so for those of you who are tuning in um, and don't know what we're on about, uh, this recipe is Hollywood's brisket. It's found in skinny entertaining. Um, it has both traditional and thermomix cooking methods so if you don't have a thermomix and you want to know how to cook grant's famous brisket uh you can actually um get the recipe and cook it without a thermomix you don't need one no. so please check out skinny entertaining shop.skinnymixers.com there's some amazing um there's some amazing recipes in there it's not it's it's actually it's not a barbecue book no. um it's a all entertaining cookbook um, Cyan wants to know, some skinnies are cooking smaller briskets, should they adjust their cook time down? So if they're cooking point end briskets, um, or they're cooking smaller whole briskets, your times are going to be very, very close. What you want to pay particular attention to is in this latter part of the cook. If you've got a probe, just keep your eye on that probe and in and around the 200, um, sort of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 98 degrees Celsius. The uh, cook time, if it is a little bit shorter and it comes up faster, it's okay because you can rest it for longer. So for example, I'm going to rest this brisket for around an hour to two hours. If you've got a point in brisket and it comes up a little hotter quicker, you can rest that for up to four hours wrapped in as we describe in the recipe. So it's okay if it comes up a bit quicker, but if you have a smaller one, um, I wouldn't adjust too much other than give yourself a, maybe an hour or two more resting. Right. And at this point, if any of you are cooking along with a smaller brisket and you get stuck and you don't know what to do yep. because we're not up to the part where we go live yet, feel free to just flick us a message yeah. or um, the or message the, the page um, if, if um, you have any questions or you get stuck at all and you're cooking a smaller brisket because some yep. people are cooking 1.2 kilo briskets and stuff. So they might be intent. finished a bit b earlier before we're ready to go live again with our yes. brisket. But just remember you can rest it. So if it gets the temperature, then probe it because yep. we always probe for doneness. Check that temperature and if it has come up a little bit quicker, um, you can rest it for as, up to four hours in that warm environment. You know, wrapped in the towel and put away in the warm desky or the oven, okay? Yep, so Don't if you get stuck you get though, just early. ask us getting questions. Yes. All right, thank you so much, Skinnies. We will check back in with you in a few hours. Bye. <laughs>